Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're all okay, having a nice time. Um, this is our card today. This is our project for today. It's a graduation card. Um, very appropriate for this time of year. Lots of graduations going on, either online or in person in the UK. Sometimes they're not able to take part, take place um, on um, to take place in person. Um, so anyway, today we're going to make this card. I brought you this on my blog a while ago. Um, I'm you'll be glad to know I'm gradually catching up. I think I've got another couple of projects to video, and then I'm up to date with all the ones that I've put on my blog. So then I'll be able to start doing some new projects. So anyway, how do we make this this um, card? So I've done it as a tent fold card. This one. Don't know why I suddenly decided to do that. I quite like them, and I always forget to do them like that. Um, so I've got my card blank here. So what I did was I took a sheet of A4 cardstock, I cut it down at ten and a half, so in half, and then I scored it at one four eight, fourteen point eight centimeters, and folded it over, and that gives you a lovely card blank. Right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the white panel first, and you shall see why in a minute. So I'm going to measure what I did last time just to make it the same. So it's about nine by 13 and a half ish. We'll do 13 and a half and see where that gets us. So it's going to be big enough. Yep. Um, so 13 and a half ish. Do that there. And nine the other way. So that's going to be our white panel. Now, because it's got a gold mat. Now, on the card that I made before, it's got a gold mat behind it. And I didn't gut it. So sometimes when I've got a gold mat like this, I would go round and I would gut that. So I would still have that piece of gold foil that I can use. But the trouble is because it's black behind this gold, I thought that would show through and that you'd be able to see the edges. So I didn't do that. So I was trying to work out a way to get this effect, but without wasting this whole panel of gold foil, because it's not the cheapest thing in the world and I don't want to waste it. So I've decided on trying a different method to do that today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my card blank down. Actually, I'm just going to just going to straighten that up because they're not quite straight at the bottom there. It's not quite straight, so I'm just going to straighten that up. Otherwise, that is going to annoy me. So I'm just going to join them up. Great, this little chopper for doing things like that. I wish stamping up would bring it back. Um, right, there we go. So now you can see there's a wider border there. So I'm going to trim another little bit off there just so that it wasn't quite 13. So I'm just going to trim another little bit off so that we've got a wide enough border and the same border all the way around. There we go. Yeah, fine. That'll be okay, I think. Right, now what I'm going to do today, instead of using, on this one, I used gold foil and copper foil and black, basic black. Instead of doing that today, I'm going to use the new metallic, the brushed metallics that are in the catalogue. So it's rose gold and gold. They look really rough, but actually they're really smooth and they're really gorgeous, actually. They're really lovely in real life. So I mean, you think you get eight six by six sheets in a pack I think four of each um, and anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some little strips of this I'm going to cut them at three cents so three millimeters so I'm lining it up here at three millimeters and what I'm going to do is and then I'm going to place them around my white panel and it will look like it's sitting on a, a mat of this gold cardstock but it won't be I won't have wasted any so it's just too much I don't really want to if you can be a thrifty crafter then why not hey there we go and one more to do the other side so just lining that up carefully this trimmer is great for doing little bits and pieces like that it's just really so useful so Let's glue our white panel down first of all. So that's going to glue on our black background. I've done this so that it's kind of unisex, but of course you could do it 
um, a bit more girly. You could use more girly colours if you wanted to. Although the gold and the copper and the rose gold are perfectly fine for girls as well, of course. And they're quite celebratory, aren't they? Um, so, But what you could also do, and what I've been asked to do in my Etsy shop when I make graduation cards, is do the stars in the colours of the university or the college, or if you're in the US, the high school that um, the person is um, graduating from. Right, so that's there. Now we're going to stick these pieces round here so that they um, so that they look like um, we've got a border. So the only tricky bit is going to be the ends. Just grab my strip because we want to make sure that at the ends they the, the corners they meet up nicely. So we just need to make sure we're going to position this further up if I can get it to move it's stuck there we go move that up to there and then this one and then I can just snip it where it needs to be so I'm just going to snip actually I'm going to try and mark it with a pencil a pencil and then snip it there we go so just snip there and so then a little bit of Tombow and this is just a really good way of doing a frame without using loads of cardstock. Because um, like I say, I, I'm, I'm quite happy to buy packs of cardstock and things, but I would much rather, I don't, I, I find that they're sort of like essentials and I'd much rather be buying a new stamp set or a new set of dies or a punch or whatever. Oh, that looks quite good. Right, we're going to do this one here now as well. One down the bottom. So I'm going to line this up mark it with a pencil, trim it off. I think that's where my pencil mark was, I couldn't quite see it. Yeah, I think that's right. And then just glue it. So, so yeah, just a, a bit of a thrift, thrifty tip to get a nice border. Um, and of course you can butt it right up against the white because um, you've got a slight ledge there where the white finishes. So you can butt it right up. Just having a bit of problem butting that one up there. There you go. And then this one is going to go this way. Really loving this brushed metallic. It's really gorgeous. There we go. That one goes there. Might be a little bit long that one. Might just need to trim that off again. Just a little bit too long that one. So just trim that. So it just takes a little bit of time. Of course, it's easier to do a um, to do it with a whole sheet, but then you you end up using it all, like I say. And it just seems so sad that it's just going to be hidden behind your white. And like I say, I think if you if you gut it which is another way of saving some cardstock. I think the black would show through, especially if you're only using our normal Whisper White. It might be all right with the, with the um, thick Whisper White if you use that. There, and that just fits in there. There we go. Got a beautiful border without using too much cardstock up. Lovely. Right, now next we're going to do the star. No, actually we're going to do the nut. We're going to do this first so that we know how much space we've got to fit on. So first of all, we're going to die cut the numbers. So let me bring my die cutting machine in. And I've got the numbers here. And I've got a sheet of our foam. Our foam sheet. So I will show you what I do and how I do this. I'm going to use the gold... Um, the brushed gold. So let's put this up one way and let's just move my grid paper out, otherwise it moves when I die cut. Right, so I've got 2,000, I've got the two, the naught and the one, and I need two twos, of course. 
but I'm going to place them on my cardstock. So, place them like that. And then I'm going to take the two around to the front right. So that piece is, is just about the right length. So if I cut it along there so that it's the right width. So again, I don't want to be wasting any here. So along there, there we go. So just cut that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this piece to my foam sheet. I'm going to take my foam the backing off my foam sheet stick this this is to give them a nice 3d effect i know you could use dimensionals but it's quite di quite fiddly putting dimensionals behind these so just pull up the sheet stick your card your cardstock down and then put the cover back because then it won't be sticky against your scissors to cut and then you can cut your piece of foam to exactly the same size that you need and you don't waste any so again, i'm being very thrifty today aren't i there we go. Right, so this is going to go through and I'm using, it would go through my mini. I find when I'm using the, the four sheets, it's easier to get them through with the big mini because it's quite a thickness. And I'm not changing any plates or anything, so I'm putting them through, but you just need a bit more welly. So I find it a lot easier using the big cutter to do it. We'll do it on the little one, the mini one. Right, just putting it through two or three times. And then those should be cut through. Yes, those are cut beautifully. Look, I can see on the back the cutting, the, the backing is cut as well. And then, so I'll take these out, if I can get them out, which at the minute I can't. And the two, sorry, I'm off camera, aren't I? Just realised I was doing that off camera. Um, tricky releasing these actually. Oh. A lot easier. I did it. It was easier with the gold foil. Maybe I should have just done it in the gold foil again. Right, and I just need to run it through one more time with another two because I need another two. There we go. So run it through one way run it back, run it back again, we'll just, there we go, now I can get rid of my die cutting because I've done all the other die cutting that we need, right, get the, get my grid paper back again and then I can remember where I'm meant to be, right, so we just need to take this one out, I might just need to do a little bit of trimming around some of these, they don't look like they've come out, I think it's the, the, the metallics are just a bit more temperamental than normal cardstock or the foil. There we go. I've not actually tried this. This is the first time today that I've used these metallics. Right, I'm just going to go through. So it is already cut. It's just not coming apart terribly easily. Right, let's see if it will come apart now. Done that. Oh, there you go. Well, I always say with my, my videos, you get all the warts as well, warts and all. Right, okay, so I've got a two. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit off there. But that looks fine. I've got a two. So, yeah, it um, must have some sort of um, vinyl layer, some sort of plasticky layer that doesn't cut very cleanly unless it's really, really precise. Here's, yeah, you see again, there's like a layer over the over the brushed metallics that is just not cutting through with the blades properly. Right, need to get that middle out. There we go. And then the one, which I think is okay, just needs a little bit of trimming. Just trim those off with your scissors. Make it nice and neat. So, where's our card blank gone? There, here we go. So, we're going to put 2021 on here. I know it looks a bit rubbish at the minute because the layers are all coming off. 
the backing is all coming off. So that's going to go there like that. And underneath we want congratulations. And the congratulations I used was from Art Gallery. These are lovely um, sentiments, these. I'm a real sentiments girl, as some of you will know. Um, so any set that's got a whole range of sentiments in nice fonts will be straight on my wish list. Right, so just mount that on a G block and then get my memento ink, excuse me, stretching across. And we're going to just stamp that. I can show you on my original. There we go. Um, so we're going to stamp it. It's clear so I can see where to stamp, which is great. There we go. And then we can stick our numbers. And I'm going to start with the one. I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to start with the number one. And check that there aren't any little lurking bits here to spoil the look of it. Is that all right? Yeah, I think so. So we'll put that one there. And I'm just going to bring in a little bit of washi, uh, not washi tape, post-it tape, just to make sure I line those numbers up. Um, they don't actually sell this as post-it tape anymore, but there are versions on Amazon. So it's just like a post-it note with that kind of, you could use a post-it note anyway, couldn't you, to do this? It wouldn't be bad. Um, but I've got reels of tape, which I love, and I'm so sad I didn't stock up a bit more before they stopped making it. Right, again, this has got... To do this this has got oh there we go just smooth it down just got some um some bits that haven't haven't cut with the die cutter so i suppose my lesson from this is today is maybe use the the gold foil to cut these so that's going there and then I think it must be just because there's some sort of plasticized layer over the, the metallics that um, doesn't take kindly to being cut with the with the dies through the die cutter. Cuts all right with scissors, but just that, that pressure cut, which is what it is in the die cutter, doesn't want to do. There we go. And the last one. And that will it's important to do this bit first because then that will tell you how much space you've got to put your stars. Oh, and I've got a black smudge over there now. I don't know where that came from. I've got a smudge on my finger. I have to hope I cover, can cover that up with a star. Okay, so I have die cut already. And these cut out all right, actually. These did cut okay. I think it's with the foam as well with the numbers. That doesn't help. Um, I've cut out three big ones, one black, one rose gold, one gold, and I've cut out six little ones, two of each of the colours. So we're starting down here. We'll start with the gold so it matches the, num the numbers. And I just need to try and position that so I cover up my, my splodge there. That's going to go there. So a little bit of Tombow. Not too much, don't want it all squidging out. Smooth it out nicely if you want to. So you get a really nice thin layer. And then just cover up my splodge. There we go. And then we're gonna put black one in the middle here. So this is just basic black cardstock. These um, stars are cut, I didn't tell you, did I? They're cut from these two dies which are from now I want to say I think they are stitched stars and they're still in the annual catalogue they've been around for a long while um, but they're lovely and they're going to be great coming up to Christmas um, to have another set that you can use for Christmas so I'm looking forward to that there we go and then the rose gold one is going at the top here go spread the glue out and pop that on 
So we've got three big stars, quite well spread out. And then we've got some little ones. I've already put a dimensional on the back of these, these little, little stars. So, now what I didn't do before was put one below the big one at the bottom here, but I am actually going to do that today, because, partly because I've got another splodge there. I want to cover it up, and also because this is slightly higher than it was on my last card. So, I'm just going to position that one so it covers them up. There we go. Doesn't really matter. Right, and I can cut some more if I think I've got space to put some more. There we go, that one's going there. Just want to give the effect of having lots and lots of stars on here. And I think anyone who's graduating really pleased to receive a card like this, I hope. Got a rogue dimensional backing there. Right, where was this one going to go? Here? Yeah, I've got one more. Don't know that I need it really. Should I put that one there? Do I need it? Don't think we need it, do we? And I think we're done. There we go. Two lovely graduation cards. One made with our shiny foil. One made with our... Um, brushed metallics foil so you've got a choice there the rose gold looks very similar to the copper i have to say um but yeah really nice yep i think they'd be great to send us graduation cards so i hope you've enjoyed that project today um i hope you've watched me do all my gaffes um i hope you have a lovely day if you haven't already subscribed please press the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel that would be great and i'll see you again very very soon thanks for watching Bye bye